Emperor's Respite is an interesting map. It's interesting because it's one of the only maps that feels like it doesn't have a flow. By that, I mean it's quite chaotic and unpredictable. However, there are a few things that reduce this and make it easier if played right. As always, I have to state that a good team is the most important part. Communication, gun skill, and movement will win games more than anything. These are just the best ways to do those things and raise your chance at victory. The weapons that work well on this map are auto rifles, accurate submachine guns, some hand cannons, and scout rifles. Burst sidearms will work well in some instances as well. This is for both primary and energy slots. I don't recommend taking two weapons of the same class, but absolutely don't take two scout rifles or two burst sidearms, because at that point, your team might as well just drop you. Slow firing and steady auto rifles like the Prosecutor or Uriel's Gift are amazing, and some machine guns such as the Mida Mini Tool are effective as well. For power weapons, fusion rifles, shotguns, and rockets are the safest and most effective due to the close range encounters and small entry points. If you decide to use a scout rifle, go for picks on enemies at a range and watch where you go. There are many tight areas on this map, and you don't want to be caught with your scout rifle out. Let's get on to how to play the map itself. Let's start off with defending. On defense, you have a significant advantage. You have the height advantage on most parts of the map, much more cover for when they push, and they have to come to you. When you start off, make sure you have teammates watching both bomb sites. This is because it's very hard to push into areas on this map if they get the bomb down. If somebody on your team feels comfortable with flanking, there is a path on the right side when you spawn that will take you right to their spawn if you follow it all the way down. This can devastate the enemy team if you make it around without getting caught. If at any time you see red on your radar, just stop pushing because that means they're either coming on the same path as you or planning on heading to the entry bomb site. At this point, just make the call to your team and get back to a safe spot to defend one of their entries. If you are able to make the flank around without being spotted, go for a pick on the enemy and then either retreat or try to push them with your team. Just make sure you have escape routes, because they could all decide to go for you when you're alone. If your team isn't going to flank, then defend the sites and watch their entry points. Also be cautious of the flank route I just discussed, because they can benefit from it just as much as you. Be patient and don't make unnecessary peaks. In the case that all four push you, keep the high ground and try to get people to run behind or beside them. There are plenty of routes to take for this. Defending these sites are quite simple as long as they don't overwhelm you or pick one of your members off early. Last note for defending is not to overextend if you are outside. The ledge to the far left can be very tempting to get beside them, but don't do it if there's anyone over there. You have no escape possibilities if you start losing fights. Offense on this map is very interesting. There are basically three options, and all three of them are super risky. The flank route that I talked about on defense will now be on your far left when you spawn. You can try sending one or two people to flank, but if you see any red on your radar, you have to back off. You have an uphill ramp that will screw you if you try to run from a fight, since they can just peek over and catch you out. If you successfully make it through the flank without being spotted on the radar somehow, you now have the upper hand. In the flanking route, there are two doorways. The middle one can see the entry bomb site and one of their entries inside. The back one leads to their spawn and behind them. Look for picks and make them panic to make an opening for your team to push in. Another option is to look for a pick or two. If you can catch one of them out and kill them, the map turns in your favor and you can push inside and outside together to outgun them as a team. The third way is to basically overwhelm them there's a high chance that at least one of them is going to push outside as soon as they spawn. If your team is confident enough to push inside right away and look for kills using the angles you have, then you will be able to kill at least one of them and make the others panic or run. You can use that time to plant and then defending is pretty simple if you cover all their small entry points. You can even delay your push a bit and send one of your teammates through the flank on the left to devastate them even more from behind when you all push in. Offense is quite difficult on this map. If the enemy is smart and makes you come to them like you have to, then you really have to outgun them as a team. Basically, the only way to win on offense is by killing them in some sort of way before they can kill you so that you gain the upper hand. Those are the best ways to go flawless on Emperor's Respite. Just be careful on offense, play smarter than your enemy, and wins will flow in. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.